forget for a second that I'm 29 and pretend that I am the target audience for Barbie and my scene, which was very big in 2005 when this film was released. Barbie, of course, still is very big. I probably would have found this quite interesting and it's got some really good morals in it. As an adult viewer watching it as some kind of light relief to escape from, you know, the complexities of real life, I thought, I thought the narrative was interesting. As a fan of Hollywood, I really liked that aspect of it, you know, film within a film worked really well, but the animation style is very disturbing. So this was released, as I said, in 2005, directed by Eric Fogel and written by Elise Allen and stars the characters of Mycene and Barbie, uh, including you know, Madison, Barbie, Chelsea, Nolly, uh, etc. And what drew me to this is the fact that it was set in Hollywood. I thought we were getting like an animated version of LA and that's marginal, not really what's happening. The girls are accidentally on a film set and they become film extras. And I thought that was interesting, an animated version of a film set, animated director, let's see what they're going to do with this. That aspect of it I thought was actually pretty good. And for the most part, well, for half the film, it's all about the, the reality of behind the scenes on a movie set. Certainly if you're not the star of the show, and I will talk about the star of the show in a moment. But it's all about how they have a lot of waiting around to do. They don't get to pick their outfits. It's not glamorous. And I liked that it was exposing the realities of being on a set in Hollywood when you're not necessarily the main star. And I think that I really appreciated what it did for that because I think a lot of young children, older children, fully grown adults, are you know, just feeling that being on a Hollywood film set is going to just be the height of glamour for everybody involved. And while it would be a fantastic opportunity, it's certainly not glamorous. And then one of the characters, and I won't say who in case you want to watch it, and I won't go into too much detail either, but one of the characters ends up standing in for one of the minor actors who has, I believe, five lines in this film. And quite quickly they get very big for their boots and they start neglecting their friends and they start, you know, feeling like a superstar. They have five lines in a film. They're a supporting character in a film that's, you know, they're barely in. But they let this quote-unquote fame go to their head. And the moral, the ultimate moral, is, you know, about putting your friends first, looking at the bigger picture and not leaving behind who you are just because you have a small part in a film. The narrative works well, the messages are very clear and I really like that. You know, I, I, I really appreciate what it did with that because things like films about Barbie and things are often height of glamour, Barbie being a superstar, Barbie being this top actress... This is a lot more realistic. The animation style is not realistic. The animation style is absolutely terrifying and not very well done at all. I mean, it's consistent. It's absolutely consistent in style, but I do not like it. That aside, we do have two people who need to be mentioned in this, and uh, that's Lindsay Lohan, who voices the character of Lindsay Lohan, the film that they're filming, uh, she is the star of that. And I think given when this was released, 2005, great time to be Lindsay Lohan. Um, certainly that would have been a star attraction for this film. And then you have Harvey Weinstein. And I'm not joking. He was in this very briefly as a character and the Mycene girls were very much like, he's only the biggest producer in Hollywood and phoning over him and... Yeah, the film hasn't aged very well in that respect. It was a bit unnerving. But that aside, I'm pleasantly surprised by the narrative, by the morals. Nothing wrong with the voice acting or anything like that, of course. And I think the messages are pretty crystal clear to anybody of any age, give or take, of course. The animation style, I do not like. Unusually, it's the reverse of what I like, or what I usually hate. Because normally, posters will have a kind of very traditional animation style on the poster and then you watch the film and they've actually CGI'd the life out of it. With this one, the Mycene girls seem to be a lot more CGI than they actually are, in some cases. But actually, when you watch it, it's not. It's, it's absolutely not. So I didn't get to see as much of Hollywood as I have liked, but as a film fan, 
I enjoyed seeing the animated version of, a, of filmmaking, even if the animation style wasn't for me. Lindsay Lohan, uh, you know, a, a treat. I didn't know she was going to be in this. Harvey Weinstein, the exact opposite of that. But, you know, I didn't mind watching it. If you're looking for something that's easy to watch, very easy on the eye, give it a go. If you're going to show it to a young child, maybe stop it 10 minutes before the end, because that's roughly where Weinstein comes into it. I enjoyed it. I liked it more than I thought. There are things that I would change, but ultimately, as an adult viewer watching a film aimed at children, but also as a fan of animation, I kind of liked it.